Hey guys, first off, let me just say that a new project isn't necessarily going to make your art, your photography, your videos better. The only thing that is going to do that is you. However, a new project is going to make the process smoother and maybe faster. And speaking of a faster process, this is the Wacom Intuos Pro. And I've been using this for seven years now. It's worn, it's beat down, but it works the same as it did in the first day. I got this because I was having some pain with my hand. I mean, I was having some serious pain with my finger. My hand got stiff sometimes. And I had some friends that were using graphic tablets. They're designers, illustrators, and I borrowed one. The first time I used it, I hated it. I just hated it. How am I going to switch from my Razer mouse to this? But the pain was getting pretty serious and I tried it. I was forced to try it. And after a few days, it, it grew on me. And I think a, a tablet is one of these things that you either love or hate. Tablets these days have gotten really smart, really expensive, but uh, let me just tell you why I still use this bad boy, this old beat down bad boy. <laughs> why I still use this and haven't moved on to a Cintiq, for example. And I say moved on and not necessarily upgraded because I don't, I don't think it's an upgrade for me as a video editor. If you're an illustrator, if you're a graphic designer, maybe the Cintiq is for you, but there are a few reasons why I chose to stick with the Intuos line. And maybe when this has served its purpose, I'm gonna switch to the newer Intuos. The first thing I noticed was the speed you gain versus hand-eye coordination. I mean, the biggest benefit is speed in the post-processing world, and these improvements are multiplied over time. You push a button that should have been a shortcut and you spend two seconds more on the edit. And you say to yourself, two seconds is nothing. Okay, but when you spend eight, 10, 12 hours on the computer, those two seconds come down to like five, 10 minutes more. You could have been doing something else or you could have spent less time on the edit and in front of the computer. If you remember the first time you learned to type real fast on a keyboard, the more I practiced, the less time my eyes were on the actual keyboard, but on the screen. So I was focusing on what I wanted to type, what I wanted to say, and not on the actual keys. It's the same with the tablet. I focus on where the cuts are, how to make the edit smoother, and not on where the cursor is on the screen, not on what my hand is doing on the tablet. So you are smoother, more precise by default with the tablet. Compared to a mouse, it's more precise and more comfortable because you're actually using a larger muscle group. So you're using your forearm, your shoulder, not just your wrist and the tendons in your fingers. Trying to be precise with a mouse, in a few hours you're gonna feel it because I don't think these muscles were made to move like that. Some of you might feel a different way and it's okay, but for me, trying to be precise with a mouse is just torture at this point. The grip of a pen is also entirely adapted to the natural position of the body. Another thing I learned while using a tablet is it helps me maintain a good posture because it's flat on a surface, my back is straight, I don't hunch over, my eyes are horizontal to the screen. You're already overworking yourself spending many hours a day in front of the computer. And if you do this every day, you're gonna feel it. It's also durable. I mean, most pen display tablets outlast the screen display tablets. So if you're looking for something to last years, the Intuos line is for you. It's also portable. If you use the same tablet for your studio and your home, this is actually portable, even more so than a Cintiq. I mean, you can carry it around. It's light in weight. It needs only a single USB cord, or you can go wireless with its included adapter. I know there are a lot of editors out there, professional Hollywood level editors that use Cintiq tablets. And once you get past the price range, this just might be an industry standard. But the price of a Cintiq Pro 24 inch or a 32 inch is high. I don't feel like there's an upgrade for, uh, from this to the Cintiq. Some Cintiq tablets have a pretty bad color accuracy. This you don't need to calibrate. So that's one. Second off, 
If you buy a normal CNC, you can buy normal, I mean not the Pro line, which is way more expensive. I've tried them and the normal Cintiq tablets have a pretty bad parallax as far as I'm concerned. I mean, parallax is basically an offset between the tip of the pen and where the lines you draw actually appear. So it's usually caused by the distance between the pen tip and the digitizer under the screen's glass. So, so the less the distance, the less parallax you get. I mean, you could solve this by getting a Cintiq Pro, but the price is up there. So another advantage of this is it's way cheaper than a Cintiq. It's also simple to use compared to the ergonomics of the Cintiq, for example, in which you look down. With an Intuos, you don't have to look down. And once you get to know it and you get your coordination in order, you don't even have to look at the tablet. Your hand and your brain just know what to do. So we have no need for color calibration, no parallax, the price is in your favor, it's durable and it's portable. I'm only speaking as a video editor, if you're an illustrator, if you're a graphic designer, maybe a Cintiq is for you. All I'm saying is with an Intuos, your hand will never be in the way of your work because you use a tablet only as a tool, your eyes are always on the screen. Having said that, there are a few things I don't like about the tablet. Let me just show you. This is my forearm brushing against the tablet for years. And if it's summer and it's hot and you're sweaty, you have to use a glove. This. It kind of looks weird, but it's great. It's actually a, a glove from XP Pen. They make tablets, never used it. Don't know anything about them, but I do like the glove. It's great because when you're using a tablet and it's hot, your skin doesn't actually brush up against the, the plastic. But even with a glove, you, you constantly touch your forearm on the tablet because you can't just hold your arm in the air. You have to rely on your mouse as a backup. That's why I keep my Logitech MX Master 3 real close. The second thing I don't like about it uh, the tablet is uh, software related. So when I wake up the computer and I log on, log off, the tablet is dead. You just have to restart or plug in the cable again. I always used to keep my cable plugged in because of this, but sometimes you just want less wires or no wires on the desk. That's why I have a wireless keyboard, a wireless mouse, and I just wanted a wireless tablet. And in the past that just, <laughs> that just never worked because the software was was causing me problems. But thanks to some updates, this happens less and less. It's like once a month and I can deal with it. But just know it's a thing. It's an issue and it might be happening to you. The thing about video editing is you have to work smarter, not necessarily harder. What I mean by that is you already work hard by spending 10 hours a day in front of the computer. And it's about maximizing your time and making the process smoother. I'm not selling Wacom tablets, Wacom, Wacom, whatever you wanna call them. I'm not selling them. So whether you use one or not, I don't care. But it did change my workflow. It did change the way I view editing and I view working in the studio and if you've ever had problems with your wrist, with your fingers, just give it a try. See if it doesn't improve your overall experience while editing.